Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. Today it's first drifts with the Mazda R9 wheelbase here on a set of Corsa. We are running the factory Mazda drift settings from the app. Now, if you guys know the title, I said R9 is the drifter's best friend. Well, I'm about to show you why I think that. I have here, of course, the Mazda R9 wheelbase with the RS steering wheel. But I also have something. Now I want to bear in mind, this is not mine. I do not have it. This is my buddy's car. So we're going to have to hide this logo that's on this steering wheel because, yes, it's my buddy's wheel. But if you take a look at the back here, at the NRG 2.0 quick release and the Mazda Racing quick release, do you notice a similarity? So I think you guys know where this video is going. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you're found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So first drifts with the Mazda R9 wheelbase, we are going to be using the Mazda wheel first, just because, well, I'm gonna have to get it into gear anyways because I don't have my shifter because I'm still waiting on my Fanatec adapter. But we're gonna go full send with this and see first drifts on Mazda's factory drift settings. Just clicked on drift and we're going full send with it. Gotta get my mouse off the screen, thank you. We are at clutch kickers, just like I said, I need to be able to go set and forget for gears. First initiation in, and actual feeling of the wheel is very nice. So it's very s similar rotation speed as my Fantec was, but it's a lot more smoother. I guess that's just testament to the fact that it's a direct drive versus uh, belt drive. So their base setting is actually quite nice. May have to do some fine tuning and things of that nature, but for overall first drive with this base in a drift situation it's uh i'm thoroughly impressed you know i can definitely feel when the car is actually losing grip versus when it's in grip in the front and you know the fact that mazda has a base tune that off the rip is just i say you can just get in and drive i'm not just throwing this corvette down here on clutch kickers and i'm thoroughly enjoying the way this is feeling right now so like i said we're gonna be setting and forget in the third gear but you guys know where this video is really going the drifter is a best friend and why i feel that way so i think i may go through and tweak some settings but i i'm not really finding any settings other than maybe friction of the wheel that i might want to make a little bit stiffer but that would tail into all different types of cars so we would need to find out if we need to adjust the friction to make the wheel spin faster and things like that but that's all tunable in the app so without further ado the moment why you guys are really here so we have to leave this car in third gear because don't have a shifter and when i take this mazda wheel off i no longer have paddles but i'm gonna grab my buddies <laughs> Spark Co. wheel um, with the NRG quick release and we're going to take it and just snap it on into place. It didn't make a ding. I'm actually kind of sad. We're going to take that off and we're going to actually make it make a ding. So there's the ding. That's the ding I wanted to hear. So as you can see the quick release the 2.0 quick release from NRG bolts right on. It's the same platform and everything. So now we have the Mazda R9 base with the wheel that if you have one of these sitting in your actual car and you wanted to get a sim base that you don't need any adapters like a special Fanatec hub or a hub adapter or plates like you need on like a Thrustmaster and things to put a real wheel on. You can literally take the wheel and the quick release that you have on your car and it will bolt directly to the base by simply putting it on and clicking it into place. So now we're going to go full rip with this. Now, like I said, I don't have paddles. I don't have a shifter, but big thank you to my buddy Charles for giving me his wheel out of his actual car since I don't currently have a quick release from NRG on me right now. And 
it just works. If you notice, I it it's so amazing that this is just working. That the base works without a wheel connected. You don't need to have it, so you can use any wheel you really want with just a quick release adapter. Now you could probably find some other adapters, some genericer ones that are identical to an NRG one. I would say they would probably work, but don't quote me on that. I'm saying I know this works because the NRG 2.0 release is the same. So definitely a big thing here for drifters with this base that you can take your real world wheel out of your car if you have an energy quick release and put it right on this base. So from an aspect of getting a wheel base, I think there's only one other wheel base that you can do this and that is a Sim Magic wheel. Now the Sim Magic wheels are definitely a higher price tag than this Mazda R9 base and as you can see this base feels so good for drifting. It does feel actually substantially nicer than my Fanatec did. And you know, that's just testament to the direct drive and all the firmware updates and things like that that they keep releasing for these. So this also means that this quick release will work on their R16 and their R21 because they are the same hubs. Because all their wheels are the same. So just it's kind of actually very amazing. I hit the wrong button. I wanted to hit this one. No, this one. Oh, that put me in the neutral. Oh no! What? I can't go into gear. Ah, <laughs> oh, rip! I can't go into gear. I literally just took myself out of gear by changing scenes. Uh, so we're gonna need to uh, take this wheel off. Put my Mazda wheel back on. And get myself back into gear. So like I said, I am waiting for my Fanatec adapter for my Coast Sport Shifter so that I can use it. Um, it's in the mail. Should be here in a day or so. And then we will be able to go full rip with this. Definitely going to hit up the boys at NRG and try and get myself uh, a quick release so that I can start using all my other wheels because, you know... It is nice to be able to do that and have nothing back here. So this is essentially like you would be having um, a, an actual pro spec drift car style where you don't have anything behind it other than a steering shaft. You don't have turn signals, you don't have wipers, you have nothing back there. And it kind of makes it super nice and super clean. And I do notice that going up to this wheel, this wheel is slightly heavier than a Mazda wheel given that it is not all the forged carbon fiber stuff. So I may want to tweak and add a little bit of force feedback. So Mazda's factory drift thing is at 55% feedback on the wheel. You could probably bump it up to 60 and it would feel amazing. And like I said, I can't thank my buddy enough for giving me the wheel out of his actual car. He, I hit him up, I was like, hey man, can I borrow your wheel? And he brought it in for me today at work and said, here, but I need it back tomorrow. So. Definitely gonna have to get him his wheel back tomorrow as much fun as I'm having with this But one thing I wanted to let you guys know is the fact that you can use Your own wheel on your own quick release and it just works. No adapters needed You can just pick up the R9 wheelbase if you already have pedals Slap your own wheel on and have a good time So make sure you guys follow me on all social media I'll just find the description box below as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching and coming in for another episode. A big thank you once again to Mazda Racing for sending all this stuff out and partnering up with me here on the channel. So, as always, I like to thank you guys for being here and supporting me and the channel. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Yoga Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.